Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 11. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about components in Laravel 8. And also, guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of CakePHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, Node.js, WordPress, then you must visit this blogging website. Inside this blogging website, you will find several categories and according to those categories, we have several articles. Now if I back to browser, this is our blogging website and inside this you will find all about the category section. So here we have called Codeigniter 4, WordPress, CakePHP 4, MySQL, Node.js and Laravel 8. If you click in any of the categories then you will list all the category related blog articles. If I scroll down, so here we'll see a button that is which is redirects to our blog page. Otherwise we have a latest blog post and here we are getting 6 recently posted blog articles. So back to the topic, so inside this video we will see that what are components and how can we create components? Back to slide. So first of all, before making use of components in Laravel 8, we need to understand that what are components. If you go to the next tab, so components are like a section or a layout which can be reused throughout the application. Suppose we have a website. Inside that website we have a header, footer, sidebar means the common section or layout which we are going to use inside every web pages. For example, we have a layout which is going to display message layout. We have a header which is going to attach with every web pages. So these are few examples. In level 8 or even we can say in level there are two methods to write components. That is, we have class-based components or anonymous components. If I back to editor, as we know that to define any routes, we need to use web.php. It contains route configuration of any website. So as we know that here also to define any route inside this web.php, we have an anonymous function. This is called a closer route because here we have defined the route as well as our message or even we can say that we have rendered our view file. Otherwise, apart from this syntax, also we have a controller based route. So this is class based. So in the same pattern, we have means two methods to write components that is class based components and anonymous components. So inside this video, we will start over class based components. So to create a component in Laravel, we need to make use of the artisan command that is make component. This component simply creates a component inside Laravel setup. When we create component, it creates two folders and component related respective files. Those files it automatically stores inside app directory as well as resources directory. What I mean, if I back to slide, sorry, editor, inside this as you can see that we have a app folder, inside app folder we have console, exceptions, HTTP which contains all about controllers and middleware and many more folders. So when we means run our command to create make component, it creates two folders one inside this app directory and other inside this resources directory means inside this views directory. Because a component as we know from this definition that components are like a section or a layout which can be reused. It means a controller part which controls the component functionality and the layout which controlled by resources folder to print anything. So let's get started about class-based components and how can we create. 
So first of all, we need to use PHP Artisan make component command. So back to terminal. Here we have restarted our server. So that's why we are getting our landing page. So what I will do, simply control C to stop. And if I type PHP Artisan, simply let's find all about the help manual first. So PHP Artisan help. And if I type help make component, pressing enter. Now as we can see that we have a help manual. So inside this description, we can find the definition that is it creates a new view component class uses and in the argument section, we need to pass the name of the class and rest of the options we have. So simply, if I clear the console, let's say php artisan make simply write say component and next we need to pass actually the name of the class that is component class name. So let's say that for now, we are going to take the name of the class as message. Now if I press enter, it is creating wait for a while and as we can see that component created successfully. So track the automatically generated files, back to editor, reload this editor one more time. Now go inside first inside this app directory. As we can see we have a view folder. Inside this view folder we have a components folder and inside this components folder we have message.php. This is component class file. Now next go inside resources directory. Inside this go to views and here we have a components folder. This is for the layout. Inside this components, if we go, we have a file called masses.blade.php. So for the app part, it is going to handle all about the functionality and for the display section, it is going to handled by masses.blade.php. Now if I open up the file called app view components masses.php we can see we have a class which extends component class and inside this we have a construct method as well as a random method. So from this random method we can understand that it is rendering the component file from this components folder and it is calling masses.blade.php because this is a directory and inside this directory we have a file and this is our template file. Now next, how can we use this component? Now if I go inside this resources folder and open up this message.blade.php, right now as we can see that we have a empty div. It means when we use this means component inside any of the layout, we can see a empty div. So let's say that we have created a message layout. Now we are going to use this message layout means message component inside each of the view file. So how can we use? If we go inside other of the routes, go to web.php. So inside this web.php right now we have about us and products page. So to open up this about hyphen us, we have a view file called about.blade.php. So go inside resources folder. Here we have about.blade.php. Now if we want to call this message component what we have created. So first of all, if I go to our browser and open up the route called about hyphen us, this is the route and actually I think that server has been closed. So first of all, we need to restart. So PHP Artisan serve. We have successfully started. Reload this page. And we are getting about us page. Again, if I duplicate this tab to open here all about our products route. And this is our products page. 
So as we know from the definition that is a component class can be reused throughout application. So inside this we have two routes. So we are going to use our message component. So to use any component what we have inside our application, we have a syntax. So for the syntax point of view, we need to pass something like this. It means angular brackets, we have x hyphen and here we need to pass our component name. So in our case, we have created message. So it should be means something like x hyphen message. So simply, if we go to our slide and here inside this, let's say that with an h3 tag, we are going to call our component so it is something x hyphen and we have created message. Now if we save all these changes back to browser, keep in mind we have done changes inside this about.play.php. So go and reload this page, nothing is appearing. It is because inside this because while calling this component, it go inside this app folder view and components folder. It is firstly calling this class file. Now this class file is rendering all about this message.blade.php. So as we know that inside this message.blade.php which is inside components folder does not have any component means any content. So that's why it is not loading anything. So what will happen if we add any content inside this view file. So let's say that within h4 tag I need to add some contents so this is sample content inside this message component now if we save this file and let's remove this h4 tag from here because already we are calling inside this h3 tag so if we save all these files successfully here we are calling it is calling first the class file go inside this render method and loading all about masses.plate.php and inside this layout right now we have a sample content so save all these changes go and reload this page and as we can see that this is the content which is added by the help of component as we can see from here that is it is a syntax like here we have like HTML so inside this tag we may say it's a tag so inside this tag we can pass HTML attributes it means component attributes so more about con attributes of component class or component tags we will discuss in the next video and also one more thing before closing this video that is from the definition as we know that the components can be reused. It means here we have called inside this about.play.php. If we want to use inside any of the web pages other than this, we can use it. Simply let's say that we need to go inside this products route which is calling products.play.php. Press Ctrl B open up the view file inside resources folder views folder and here we have products.blade.php and if we go first to this route this is the content what we are getting of this route so let's call our component inside this so how can we call as we know that first of all we need to make html angular brackets then hex hyphen this is by default we need to add and next we need to concatenate all about our component class name so here we have message if we save go here reload this page and as we can see that successfully we have added our component static message in the next video we will see that how can we pass attributes how can we get access over those attributes inside this class and how can we render those attributes value inside this layout and also one last thing inside this video that is if suppose what i mean let's say that we have created a component class something like let's say alert type 
this is our component class name. So how can we call inside our layout while calling this component? So simply here we have x hyphen and simply we need to type alert hyphen type. So this is the syntax to call alert type component class inside this message. We have so far something like message. This is our component class. So here we have called with this with the help of this syntax and alert type will be called by the help of this syntax. So this is our first part over this component. In the next video, we'll discuss about attributes. So for this video session, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.